Hello Knife people, today I'm going to make a review on something that is more for the, is a collectible and guys who like military knives and stuff like that, like me, I collect US Militaria and uh, talking about uh, the Three Man Combat Bowie The Three Man Combat Bowie, I'm going to show you, is one of the first six prototypes it's not going to be a review on uh, this knife advantage or disadvantage because it's a collectible item and we're not going to use it and also it's a prototype. And as a prototype I can't judge it because there are some small or big modif modifications that have been made since. So there is no use that I'm going to show you, ah this is a disadvantage, this is an advantage and the current model is different. So I'm just going to show you for the interest of it. So this is the the Treeman Combat Bowie. This is the Cold Steel Leatherneck, which is some sort of Mark II on steroids. Just put it here to see the size differences, okay? Okay. Mark II is a well known knife, so I think it gives you perspective. The blade stock is uh, 7 millimeters, almost 7 millimeters, as you can see. What's the story behind this knife? Well, uh, I've had an email with the maker, Mr. Jim Baring, and one of his workers talked to him on the phone. Or, uh, um, I think his name is Brian. Um, uh, so here's the story. The Treeman Combat Bowie, uh, he made it for a couple of acquaintances of him or friends of him that uh, serve or served in the uh, Navy SEALs, they ask for something that is a uh, aggressive used knife. Uh, so he made uh, six of those prototypes and he gave them to use and then uh, they came back with rejects. Uh, I don't know why this prototype have, haven't been used but it is the prototype as I said I've talked with him saw them uh, pictures and stuff. This current model is made in 210 or 211 you can see it by the sign and the P for prototype uh, and I can tell you that the current model is a bit different not too much it still have this you can ask with or with this aggressive uh, skull crusher I know the handles are a bit more uh, thinner it's very thick uh, and I don't know if there is any change to the blade thickness the blade steel is still 01 with this uh, very excellent coating. I have another Treeman models and they are very nice. Uh, the general shape is still the same, sharpening choil, guard, uh, look, Finland there is a version with a D guard but I don't think it's something professional. The leather sheath is also uh, very well made. Uh, you need to hold it to appreciate it. All of uh, Treeman Knives leather sheaths are always uh, high-end, at least what I received and I have a couple of knives of him the, as I said. Uh, regarding to this knife and prototype and the system, uh, I don't know if there are prototypes that are made are 209 or 212 or stuff. I don't know how, how it works if, and it, if it is only the six uh, prototypes of this model or they made uh, more. I know that this batch in 2010-2011 uh, made only six and this is one of them. So I love this knife very much. Uh, I think if it will uh, uh, be in, in use of uh, military units and uh, not have to be as a, you know, purchased in an official US Army or US Navy contract, but history shows that also private uh, purchased knives, like a lot of knives that were purchased by soldiers in Vietnam, gained the popularity by they using it and gained the popularity years ago, uh, after the, uh, the war is over. So maybe we're looking at some sort of a potential military uh, item. I don't know, but I like this knife, I like the shape. It's uh, on the heavy side, of course, but still, it's a prototype, and holding the prototype is very special. You know, it's not something you see uh, every day in the knife world. So uh, that's it. 
it's uh, short, I just wanted to show this to you, I'll give a bit of a closer look on it. It will be interesting to compare it uh, to uh, a current model of the combat buoy, uh, to see the evolution of the knife, and uh, if I happen to have one, get one and uh, I promise I'm gonna do a comparison on my channel uh, that's it so take care and thank you for watching